Alright, welcome to another video, and before we get started, I'd like to take a quick minute to thank all the Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members whose names you see scrolling across the screen right now. Uh, they make this financially possible, and without you, I probably wouldn't be here making videos, so thank you. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be flying the Baby AR Wing Pro. Once again, it's the one from Sonic Model. Um, I've made a couple of small changes. Most notably, I changed the push odds, like I had mentioned in the previous videos. I changed them out for some that I had in my spare parts box that were slightly larger diameter with little ball links that bolt on instead of snap in. And uh, that kind of took out all of the slop in the control linkages. And I wanted to see if that would help a little bit because for this flight it is a bit windy. Um, as you can see right now, we're, I just kind of took off and I made a little run out to a little more than 2 miles. I think like 2.3 or something if I remember right. But I made a little run out there and turned around and flew back. And I just wanted to kind of get a feel for it and see if uh, changing those linkages helped any at all or made any noticeable change before I started messing with the uh, the settings in, in RG Pilot. Um, to me, it seemed maybe slightly improved, but not a huge improvement. It wasn't really a drastic change. It didn't feel like a different airplane or anything like that. But uh, once that was done, I then did another auto-tune that you'll see later in the flight. Um, but what I did before that, I changed the parameters for roll rate S-Max and pitch rate S-Max. There's two parameters in RG Pilot, And my understanding is those values are, or are, are whatever, they, they kind of control how RG Pilot detects oscillation in the aircraft. And I don't know if that's active all the time or if it's just during an auto-tune. But while I was talking to my friend that's more knowledgeable with RG Pilot than I am, he suggested that maybe I try lowering those values and do another auto-tune to see if it would maybe detect those oscillations a little bit sooner and not tune so aggressively. And so I just wanted to try that out and see if it would help. And the default values were 150 for both, and I lowered them to 100, just kind of took a guess, a shot in the dark and tried it. And uh, I feel like the auto-tune did work a little bit better, and, and it's kind of noticeable during the auto-tune when I'm doing the pitch and roll axis it tends to oscillate a little bit less like normally you'll see it it basically what it does it drives the gains up slowly until it starts oscillating and then it backs them down a little bit kind of like you would do if you were manually tuning it um but I, I noticed during this auto-tune that it did tend to oscillate less than it does typically or than it did previously at least on these smaller planes so I guess that's all working as intended, and it detects that oscillation sooner and quits, and backs the gains down a little bit lower. And, uh, I don't know, overall it just seemed fine. I didn't really f feel the need to reduce gains or anything during the rest of the flight. I flew around a bit more. I'll leave some of that in the video. Um, so probably what I'm going to end up doing, I'll just kind of put notes on the screen for the rest of the video. It's kind of all the narration we're going to do. It really wasn't anything special as far as the flight or anything other than... Maybe just, it was a little bit windy and gusty. You can see there was storm clouds all in the area. And there was kind of rain out on the horizon and stuff like that. So it was kind of pushing the limits for what this little small light wing is going to handle. And it may not have been the best conditions to auto-tune in. But nonetheless, it seemed to work. So we'll, we'll still play around with it some more in the future. But we're slowly, slowly making some improvements and learning more about this stuff with these smaller planes. And how to make the best of them. So uh, anyway... Hopefully the rest of the video is enjoyable, and thank you for watching, and uh, I guess keep an eye out for what's to come next. So I'll see you all then. Questions, comments, go below the video as always, and uh, try to answer them as quickly as I can. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll put some notes up on the screen as needed at relevant points in the video. So enjoy. <laughs> 